Lives forever changed by Saturday's massacre. Victims and their families experiencing the physical, emotional, and also economic toll of the shooting. Yeah, those impacts were top of mind for Governor Gavin Newsom when I spoke to him on Monday in Monterey Park. The extraordinary thing was visiting that young man who's going to recover. Um, and the first thing he said to me is how many days I'm going to be in here. And I immediately asked the doctor to come in. And it wasn't for medical reasons he was asking, financial. He said, I can't afford to be here. I got to get out of here. Mm -hmm. I don't have the money. And then the next question he asked is, what can I do tomorrow? I'm supposed to be at work. That victim's concerns potentially made a little bit easier by the California Victim Compensation Board, which provides financial assistance to reduce the impact of crime on victims' lives. Linda Gledhill is executive <laughs> officer of the California Victim Compensation Board, and she joins us now with more tonight. We really appreciate you being with us tonight, Linda. Uh, I know that this fund has been around for many years, but I really don't think a lot of people are aware of it. So please do just start off and tell us what this victim fund is all about. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. Our hearts do go out to the victims and their families and everyone who's been involved in the shootings in our state this week. Victims Compensation Fund uh, role is to provide financial reassurance and compensation to victims of crime, their families, and other witnesses of horrible tragedies like this. We provide financial assistance that can cover things like funeral and burial costs, medical bills, men mental health bills, we know so important in these days and times, and also um, potentially income loss. We pay um, after other insurance, so we will come out and pay, we will pay for bills that victims have after their insurance is depleted or perhaps they don't have insurance, and then we're able to cover the costs up to $70,000. So we encourage everyone who is either a victim or a family member or who is at these events, um, who felt threatened by what happened to apply for our program. The application is lifelong once it's approved. So even down the road, if people feel like they might need counseling, mental health, additional medical, we may potentially be able to cover all of those costs. So, so who is eligible and, and, and what are they eligible for? For example, I know like if you're a witness, you may be eligible, but are you getting as much, say, money as somebody who was hit? H how does all that work? So the uh, limits apply equally to who are all of our applicants, um, except for potentially family members of victims. They receive, um, they have slightly different, if, if a deceased victim, their family member is eligible for funeral burial and some mental health coverage. Again, our limit is $70,000. The cornerstone to our program is um, victims of violent crime. Um, and so you have to have either um, experienced a physical injury or have had threat of physical injury. That's why we say anyone who was a witness to this event certainly would have feared for their life and would qualify under our program. So uh, I'm not sure if you heard, but Governor Gavin Newsom there right before we introduced you to uh, said, was told by that young man who's hospitalized because he is a direct victim of the Monterey Park mass shooting. He says, I need to go back to work. I can't afford this. So yeah. would he qualify for your assistance? Most likely, obviously we would have to receive his application and look at it, but it's possible that he would receive income loss. Um, so if he was a, had to be out of work for um, a period of time because of the injuries directly related to their crime, then we would provide income loss support. Absolutely, um, and that's why we're so appreciative of the governor making sure that the victims there that he was speaking to knew about our program. And um, we will be, we're working with all of the local officials on the ground, all the victim services to make sure that those applications get in so that the folks there can get the assistance that they need. And the governor also followed up with that particular individual, and they found out that he was eligible for Medi-Cal and didn't even know it. So he's going to be able to get some help from that as well. There's a lot of people... Yeah, just, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I was just going to say, even with Medi-Cal, there may be covered, uh, expenses that aren't covered that we might be able to cover, which is why, again, we encourage everyone to apply and work with us on what their needs are. Good. So how do we... What's the website? How do people apply? 
Yes, uh, www.victims.ca.gov. We have special sections set up for both of the mass violence events that occurred in our state this week um, with special information, applications in different languages. Um, and they're also welcome to call our 800 number during regular business hours. We'll be more than happy to assist anyone we can. Victims.ca.gov. Linda Gledhill, thank you so much for being with us tonight and educating us. Thank you so much for having me.